praise the Lord for his faithfulness. We are here with you once again. This is Touch of Hope coming to you from Samuel Business Ministry. And last week, God was so, God blessed us concerning a topic that for me is so dear to my heart. And I believe that you too, you have been blessed. And the, the, the topic we are treating this time is allow your service to speed up your blessings. Allow your service to speed up your blessings. Can we share with a prayer? Father, I want to thank you, I want to bless you this day. And we ask that God speak through me. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, the Lord, be acceptable unto your sight. And let everyone that is watching and hearing, Lord, I pray that never allow their life to remain the same. May this message bring information into a revelation to a transformation. And I know you are a faithful God and your word will forever stand in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Let me introduce this passage. Today I want to look at something about Joseph. Let me introduce it by saying that allow, never allow your present situation, never allow your present situation to prevent you from giving the best of service to those you come across. Never allow your present situation to prevent you from giving the best of service to those you come across with. So once you look at Joseph out of service in a house of Potiphar, that brought him promotion. Joseph out of service in a house of Potiphar, that brought him promotion. And I believe that God is going to bless you. Let's look at the first lesson we can find in this passage in Genesis chapter 39. Genesis chapter 39. I'm reading from the verse 1 and 2. And the first lesson I want to look at it is this. Let your servant bring a great impact in wherever you find yourself. Let your service bring a great impact in wherever we find ourselves. Verse 1 and 2 of Genesis 39. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt. And Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guy, an Egyptian bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down Tita. And the Lord was with Joseph. And he was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. <laughs> we all know the story of Joseph. How because of his dream. When you read the story from Genesis chapter 37, the Bible spoke about how his father had made him a coat of many colors. And because he brought evil report of his brethren to his father, they hate him. Then the Bible said that the young man had a dream and told them the dream and its interpretation. And the Bible said they hated him the more. He dreamt again. Sometimes concealment is very important. Well, we'll speak, one of these days we'll talk about concealment. Most of the things that you share with people, you realize that they don't come to pass. Let's shut our mouth. Let's zip our mouth sometimes. And out of this unbeness, the Bible said that there was a day that the father sent him to go and give food to his brother because they were shepherds on the field. And the Bible said when they saw him coming, they said, Behold, the dreamer cometh. We will kill him and see what will become of his dream. By God's own intervention, one of the brothers said, No, we can't kill our own brother. They put him in a pit and then from there, they saw this Ishmaelite. Don't forget the Ishmaelites are coming from the tribe of Ishmael. And so somehow, some way, they seem to relate like cousins sort of. And, and they also didn't know they bought their own cousin. And somewhere, somehow, they normally pass Egypt. But when they got to Egypt that day, they left Joseph and sold him. And not nobody bought him except Potiphar, the captain. The one with the, in, in charge of the army that bought him. And the Bible spoke about how God prospered this young man. Joseph was bought, he was, and now he has become a slave. Why was the Lord with him? The Lord wasn't with him alone because he fears God. But because of his service, we will see it down there. Joseph never allowed his present situation 
to prevent him in giving the best of service. Joseph became an impactful in the house of Potiphar. Most of us, whether in the church, whether in our home, we are just available, but we are not impactful. It is not just enough to be available. You must be impactful. If you're a husband and you're in your home, don't just be available, be impactful. What kind of support are you giving to your children? What kind of support are you giving to your wife? If you're a wife, don't just be a wife, be an impactful wife. Be more intellectual, be more, more supportive to your husband. If you're a minister, don't just call yourself an honorable. Be impactful to your community. Be impactful to your nation. If you, are, if, if you serve in the church, whether as an usher, whether uh, 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 as a singer, whether uh, a protocol, whether a hospitality team, whatever, whether, whatever area you find yourself serving in the church, whether in production, I love something uh, about our production team. Uh, where anytime they are there in their service, they will kill themselves. Sometimes they will end up sleeping in a church and I can assure them that their service will never go in vain because God is watching and God will bless them and I know I know I know Joseph became an impactful person I pray this morning that as you become because the Bible said the Lord was with him and the Lord blessed the man became a prosperous man even outside you don't need to just be blessed until you travel to America let me tell you something it is better to be in the cursed land and the God's promises than to be in the promised land and the God's curse it means that it doesn't matter where you find yourself as long as you keep serving God and becoming an impactful the Lord will definitely bless Bless you and people will take notice of it number two let your godly character reflect the service you give to the people <laughs> let your godly character reflect the service you give to people most of the corruptions and things that are going on I'm telling you most of this thing that are going on, it happens through the hands of so we so called Christians. We so called Christians. Whatever you find yourself, declare your intentions, declare your stand, and God will bless you. Look at the verse 3. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. And that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hands. Ah, ah, ah. In a can, the fantil lamb, they say, on chin or on kanfono. Salt doesn't appreciate itself or doesn't really uh, uh, make noise of its youthfulness. But those who use it always testify that it is good. Mm -hmm. to find salt in your food. Joseph Godly Kalata became a refreshing of his service to the point that his master took notice of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying that with all sense of humility, I never live with my parents. Uh, should I say I never? Well, I, 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 I stay with them for a while. But let me say that from I think age four or five going. My mother left when I was less than two years. And about four years to five, I was taken to some of my aunties somewhere, a friend place and choir and Cadian places. But whatever I find myself, I serve as if, excuse my language, I am the most foolish person among the people. And any time I leave any place, it is hard for people to find a replacement like me. Not that I'm a fool, but I always want to leave a mark. I always want the people that I serve to know. Let your godly character reflect the service you give to people. And so his master, the question I want to ask, is your master taking notice that because of you, things are working in that company. 
if you're a pastor, are your members taking notice that because of your ministration, they are getting breaths and their life are getting transformed? You are an usher. The question is, are people taking notice that the way you receive people, that is what makes them come to church? As a deacon, the way you serve tables, are people taking notice? A husband, are your wife and your family taking notice? A wife, are people taking notice? In your community, are people taking notice of the godly character that you have that is really reflected in whatever they do? Praise. Paul would use the word, I beseech you, brethren, but the message of God that will present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. And so we should not be conformed to this way, but we should be transformed by the renewing of our mind that we may prove that which is good, perfect, and acceptable will of God in Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. It is so amazing. I pray that if your service has not been seen yet, and you've served and you've not received promotion, I pray for you today that whatever you find yourself, may your boss and your leaders take notice. If you're an entrepreneur, may the people you work for take notice to bring you more contracts. This year is the best year. I'm telling you, I know there are coronavirus, but let me tell you, it's the best year because any time you see calamity like this, that's where God proved himself amongst his people. I'm telling you. Number three. Depend on the grace of God to serve for promotion. Depend on the grace of God to serve for your promotion. Uh, look at the verse four. And Joseph find grace in his sight, his master's sight. And he served him. And he made him overseer over his house and all that he had put in his hands. Oh, the grace represents undeserved favor. But let me tell you, that undeserved favor doesn't just come because you are sitting. The master bought him in our first lesson. Second lesson, the master took note because of the young man's godly character. Here we are seeing that he was promoted because of his service. He served. There were other servants already there. So now we don't understand. We say that eh, uh, we have been here for all these years and they've never promoted us. They've never increased our salary. They've never done this. The question I want to ask is your service matching with the promotion you are seeking for? Let me tell you, your boss may choose to pay you 100 Ghana. And if you are giving the best of your service to him, the people that you serve, the people, people will take notice. And the kind of blessing they'll give you, eh? the kind of blessing they'll give you, it'll be more than anything. I can assure you. There were servants in Potiphar's house before Joseph got there. But he, the Bible said he made him overseer over everything in his house. May you be promoted through the grace of God by the kind of service you render. I'm telling you, God is about to bless somebody. God is about to promote somebody. In case you are giving up concerning your service, I'm praying because it is the only key that can speed up your blessings. It's one of the, one of, one of the major keys. I should not use the word only. But, but one of the major keys that can speed up your blessings. Hallelujah. The fourth point. The evidence of God's favor upon your life must influence whatever you do for a new dimension. The evidence of God's favor upon your life must influence whatever you do for a new dimension. The verse 5 and 6. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house and over all that he had that the Lord blessed 
the Egyptians' house for Joseph's sake. Ah, my God. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand. And he knew not what he had save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly and well favored. Hallelujah! Promotion kept all coming. Now a time came when the master handed over everything that Joseph would touch began to turn upside down. Things were working. Potiphar filled in terms of farms. Things were working. In his house, everything was working because of Joseph. The Bible said God blessed Joseph. Because of Joseph, the Egyptians were blessed. Can somebody say because of you, they are blessed? Can somebody say because of you, your church is growing? Can somebody say that because of you, things are working out? From the day, the master promoted him because he said, and Joseph never allowed that promotion to get into his head. He kept on serving. And now the blessing that was upon Joseph began to influence the whole house of the Egyptian, his master, the Potiphar. And also the Bible said that his fear. What a wonderful God. I pray for you that this year, there's going to be a new dimension God is going to take you because of your service. The grace of God, the favor of God is going to be upon you. And the evidence is going to be seen. Whoever is sitting on your promotion all these years, God is about to overthrow them for you to get your rightful place. Let me conclude by saying that. Always remember that you don't work for money, but you serve for reward. Always remember that you don't work for money, but you serve for reward. Favor and promotion. Always remember that you don't work for money, but you serve for reward, favor, and promotion. Is it not wonderful? The young man that was a slave, it doesn't matter where you find yourself. God is about to bless you because of your service. Are you here? You don't know the Lord as your personal savior? The Bible said it's appointed unto one, a man to die once and after death there is judgment. And let me tell you something. The greatest miracle you can have on this earth is having Jesus in your heart as your Lord and personal Savior. That when you die today, you know that you'll be with him. If you are ready for this, he said, Pastor, I want you to pray with me. Let's share this word of prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm a sinner and I can't save myself. Wash me with your blood and write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Help me to serve you for the rest of my life. Thank you for hearing me. In Jesus' name, amen. Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you, we bless you, we honor you today. That we've used Joseph as an example and so we pray. He was sold, but yet he became one of the greatest men in the land of Egypt. I pray that God bless somebody. May our service bring impact. May our service of God transform people. May our service take us to a new dimension. We honor you and we bless you for your faithfulness and for your goodness. Thank you, Lord. And I know the Lord, the way you speed up the blessings and the promotion of Joseph. So will you do for all those that are watching and hearing me this day. I thank you, Lord. For what you've done for us today. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. I'm Samuel Abisi. And I want to thank you once again for meeting you. And I want you to subscribe to our channel. And make sure you share our link. Tag the bell. And I know that God will bless you. Share it 
God is going to bless you. God is going to. This is a very wonderful message and I know that everybody needs to hear this message. So put it on your various uh, social media handles. That is all that I'm looking for. That people will hear this message and so that the, God will speed up their blessing. We also want to encourage, want to thank all of you who have been supportive to our, our, our mission work and want to thank you. The Momo number is there. And as I said, uh, Easter Saturday, Easter Saturday, we are planning and, and, and we, are, we are depending on God and depending on you that you will support this worthy cause where we can just prepare some special meal and drinks and other things and get to some places somewhere and show them the love of Christ so that we can share the gospel uh, for them to hear. It's not for them to come into our church, but for them to get Christ into their heart and also find a Bible-believing church where they can grow from grace to grace. Thank you for all that you've done for us. And until we meet again next week, we'll bring you the part three of this series. God bless you. Amen.